Hello, how do you solve this exponential problem? 3 to the power of t to the power of 3, divided by 9 to the power of t, and this equals 81. Now, the first thing will be for us to ensure that all the pieces here are the same. 81, we are going to express it as 3 to the power of 4, that is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And as for 9 here, I'm going to express it as 3 to the power of 2, and remember there is t here. So I'm going to multiply it by this t, I mean the 2, I'm going to multiply it by t. So I'm going to have 3 to the power of t to the power of 3 divided by 9 is 3 to the power of 2. And this is raised to the power of t because we have t here. And this equals 81 is 3 to the power of 4. So multiplying this out, we are simply going to have 3 to the power of t to the power of 3 divided by 3 to the power of 2 times t that is 2t and this equals 3 to the power of 4. Now that the bases are the same, the next thing we are going to do will be for us to consider this identity. If you have a to the power of n divided by a to the power of n, this equals a power n minus n. So the base here and the base here are the same. I'm going to subtract the exponents. So this will give me 3 to the power of t to the power of 3 minus 2t. And this equals 3 to the power of 4. Now also, if you have a power b and this equals a power c, that means b equals c. Bases are the same. You compare the exponents. So this we are going to equate it and form a cubic equation. So we are going to have t power 3 minus 2t equals 4. This is what we are going to solve right now. And for us to solve this, I can decide to move this 4 over here. It becomes negative 4 and equal everything to 0. Have t power 3 minus 2t minus 4 equals 0. So Let's find out if there's any number that will actually give us zero. Then once we insert it to this. So we have t equals 1. If you insert 1 here, you're going to have 1 power 3 minus 2 times 1 minus 4. This will give you what? 1 power 3 is 1. Then minus 2 times 1. This is minus 2. So you have minus 1 minus 4. That is minus 5. So this is minus 5 and it's not giving us 0. Let's consider 2. We have t equals 2. I'm simply going to have, this will be 2 power 3 minus 2 times 2 minus 4. Is it equals 0? Let's find out. 2 power 3, this is 8. 8 minus... 2 times 2, that is minus 4, minus 4, minus 8. So 8 minus 8 is 0. So this is 8 minus 8, and this is giving us 0. So that means this has satisfied the equation. This becomes one of the solutions. So for us to find the other solutions, what we are going to do will be to divide this particular expression. We copy it out and divide it by this particular factor. In fact, we need to change this to a factor. So let me copy out the equation. Remember, we are having t power 3 minus 2t minus 4 equals 0. So let's copy out this expression part, which is t power 3 minus 2t minus 4. Now, this is the expression that we are going to divide it by this. This is a solution. So for us to convert it to a factor, I simply have, I move this to downward. So t equals 2 simply means t minus 2 equals 0. Have you seen it? I make use of this. So I'm going to divide this by t minus 2. And this will give us other solutions or other factors. Have you seen it? So let's divide this. And for us to divide this, we are going to make use of, you can use synthetic method, you can use formula, um, 
you can use long division method and how you want to divide it you can divide it so in this method i'm going to make use of synthetic method in synthetic method i need to equate this to zero that means i want it to be a solution again as t minus 2 equals 0 that means t equals 2 right now it has changed from factor to a solution so the next thing will be i write out the solution here too now this becomes my solution i draw a line there's what we call coefficients coefficients are numbers that are attached to each of these terms here right here the coefficient is one now if you observe this is power three this is to the power of one now there is no power two so when there is no power two the coefficient there will be zero so if i want to write this out let me write it in full form this equals one times t power three plus zero times t power two minus two times t power one minus four so this is a full representation of this because we have zero here that's why we are not having it here so i'm going to make use of all these coefficients all these are the coefficients one zero negative two and this so i have my one i have my negative two i have my a zero already so let me have zero before negative two i have zero this coefficient here the one that is not captured here because it's zero i have negative two then I have negative four. All these are the coefficients. So I bring down the one here. The first one you bring it down here. And once you bring it down here, what you are going to do will be you have two times one. You multiply this two with the one, and you have two. You add zero plus two, you have two. You multiply two times two, you have four. You add negative two. Let me write it here, like I did earlier. So this is the 4, that is 2 times 2, 4. Negative 2 plus 4, that will give you 2. 2 times 2 again, you have 4. Negative 4 plus 4, let me write it here as usual. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. I have 0 here. So this becomes the coefficients of the other factors, like I said earlier. So and when once you want to write it, you need to reduce the power. Here is power 3. I'm going to reduce it by 1. That will start with power 2. So this simply means I have 1t squared plus 2t plus 2. And this is 0. I don't need to add it. And everything equals 0. So I need to solve this. Have you seen it? So this simply means I don't need to add the 1 again. This is t squared plus 2t plus 2. And if I multiply this with the first factor, this is t minus 2, that I told you earlier. If you multiply it by t minus 2, you have the original problem. That is t power 3. t power 3. Minus 2t. Then you have minus 4. If you multiply this out, you are going to have this. And everything here, everything equals 0. Have you seen it? So, now, Let's equate each of these to zero. I have my t minus two equals zero, or I have this quadratic equation, t squared plus two t plus two equals zero. Now for t minus two equals zero, I simply move this over here. I have t equals two. This is one, the one that we called earlier, remember? So let's solve this. We can make use of formula method. That's t equals negative p plus or minus square root of e squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. So right now, I can find out a, b, and c from here. This is my a, 2 is my b, this is my c. So I have t equals negative p, that's negative 2, plus or minus square root of b squared, that is 2 power 2, minus 4 times 1 times 2, and this is divided by 2 times 1. So from here, I'm going to have t equals this is negative 2 plus or minus. This is square root of this is 4 minus 8. And this is divided by 2. So from here, I'm simply going to have 
t equals negative 2 plus or minus this is square root of negative 4 divided by 2. And there's negative here, I can have negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 times square root of 4 divided by 2. So this is very simple because it's just solving quadratic equation. So this t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of this is i times square root of 4 is 2 divided by 2. So from here, 2 cancel out, cancel out, cancel out. I have t equals negative 1 plus or minus i. That means I have two complex equations right now. And you can easily separate it. You can have the positive and the negative one. So what you need to simply do is you have t equals negative 1 plus i. And also t equals negative 1 minus i. These are the two complex solutions. And we have one real solution, which is t equals 2. So we have three solutions in total. Now, if you want to test for the real solution, if you want to check, what you need to do is, is simply insert the value here. Remember, t equals 2. So what you need to do is you have 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 divided by 9 to the power of 2 equals 81. So 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So you have 3 to the power of 8 divided by 9 to the power of 2. We have 9 to the power of 2 equals 81. 9 is the bigger square, that is 3 power 2. So if I have 3 to the power of 8 divided by 3 to the power of 2 or power 2 equals 81. I'll be single because 9 is the bigger square. I decided to multiply this out. So I'm going to have 3 power 8 divided by 2 times 2 that is 4, that is 3 power 4 equals 81. 8, 4. They are the same. I subtract the exponent based on the same identity. So I have 3 power 8 minus 4 equals 81. And this is 3 power 4. This equals 81 because 3 power 4 is 81. So at the end, we are having 81 equals 81. So this shows that the answer is obviously very correct. And that is it. We have the solutions in total because the power of t here is 3. So that's it. Thank you and see you again.